Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to speak a little bit about <coughs> printing with nylon. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, in the beginning uh, I heard a lot of good about printing in nylon regarding strength and durability and uh, the thing was that uh, when I started to ask around about <coughs> in the forums about uh, settings uh, <coughs> with the uh, Prusa printer and the PEI bed I didn't get any perfect replies. Some people said that uh, you can't use it on a PEI bread, uh, you can't uh, print with nylon without an enclosure, and so on. So <coughs> I think um, it was for me it was just uh, a basic uh, let's go out and try it. And uh, this is what I did. And uh, I didn't change much in the settings. Uh, <coughs> regarding the slicer configuration. So uh, I created a new profile called Tolman 910 and uh, basically the only thing I uh, changed for this was uh, get a wider brim, about 5 millimeters, because you need to attach it to <coughs> make sure it attaches to the bed uh, properly. And uh, the speed on infill and solid infill I reduced to 80 millimeters a second because uh, 200 millimeters, that is the fault for most of the filaments in slicer, is way too fast. And uh, you probably <coughs> won't be able to melt the filament enough for that. Uh, regarding the filament settings, the only thing I changed here <coughs> was uh, <coughs> the extruder temperature and the bed temperature. I set uh, the first layer on 250 and the other layers in 255 and uh, the bed temperature at 45, 45. And uh, regarding the cooling, <coughs> I read in some forums that um, you don't need as much cooling, you need to let it uh, melt properly. So I reduced the fan speed <coughs> to 10%. Somebody says also you can turn it off fully, but uh, I put it down to 10% and it seems to work great. And uh, I didn't change anything under advanced. So uh, you can try out with these settings. It's uh, definitely worth a try. Uh, you will get uh, parts that are way more powerful and uh, more have more durability than uh, uh, PLA or PETG. Uh, I printed just this small cog here. See if you get it focused. There it is. And uh, I used uh, pliers on this and everything, and um, it, it can't be broken. I mean, uh, I didn't know that nylon was so strong. So if you're going to make any <coughs> mechanical parts, that's the way to go. I used uh, Tolman 910 <coughs> in transparent, and I also bought a roll of black Tolman 910, so I'm going to try something also. And uh, during the print the bed, um, I just wiped it off with... Uh, isopropanol alcohol and um, put a bit of glue stick on it and um, that's it. The, for the first uh, uh, strip that it uh, <coughs> pushes out of the extruder when starting printing that came off came off very easy because I didn't put any glue stick there but uh, where the part was attached uh, it's no warping no nothing and it broke off uh, the same matter as PLA and PHG. So uh, if you <coughs> were like me, <laughs> afraid to try printing with nylon, don't be. Just give it a try and I promise you it's more easy than uh, most of the folks on forums will tell you. So my experience of this is that the Prusa can handle it very well and uh, it's definitely worth trying. So go ahead, give it a try. See you next time guys.